So we are back, George in LA here. And, um, you know, I wanted to talk to George today about how vegetables are not good for you and why we don't eat it. And um, people have been vehemently opposing that because we've been indoctrinated for years that you need to eat your fruits and vegetables. Generations. Generations, centuries, millennia, that we must eat fruits and vegetables. And we wanted to debunk that myth and talk about the toxicity of vegetables, especially like dark leafy greens and how, you know, some people will tell me, well, what about the cows that you eat? They're eating grass. So that doesn't make any sense. So if you want to just take it from here. And, All right, so what's the and we're, we're drinking, what are, we, what are we drinking by the way? Bone broth of lamb suet. So ruminant animals, whether it's a cow, goat, sheep, deer, moose, you know, anything of that sort. It's going to have multiple stomachs. Those four stomachs in them, they have microbes that break down the plant matter and can convert it to short chain fatty acids. Like cows can eat things that we are not physiologically capable of digesting and they can convert it to things that are perfectly bioavailable and perfectly nutritious and perfect, totally delicious. But yeah like they have multiple stomachs you have one you are as a human you are monogastric and you cannot ferment anything the only fermentation in your gut that takes place is in the bowel and there are some that suggest the appendix is a vestigial organ for fermentation because apes have a big one so you know you could take that one to the bank with you and plus, then there are the defense chemicals like sulforaphane, which you get when, say, something cruciferous like broccoli. When you chew it, myrosinase combi combines with glucoraphanin to create sulforaphane, which is oxidant. It robs your thyroid of iodine. So if you ever see anybody with a big goiter in their neck, that's an iodine deficiency caused by eating goitrogenic nonsense. Wow. Then there's oxalates, which are found in all your dark leafy greens that they tell you are healthy. It's, it's in the highest concentrations and things that are marketed as healthy, but are the exact opposite, namely things like turmeric, spinach, rhubarb, kale, beets, sorrel, millet. Things that people say, this is uh, a superfood. Almonds, like it's all, it's all terrible. Uh -huh. And with my personal oxalate story, I quit eating oxalate. September 30th of 2020 was my first day carnivore. Uh -huh. So that's when I quit oxalates. I still dump two and a quarter years later. Oxalate dumping. Yeah. They've been recently for my eyeballs, so I've been doing urine eye drops in my eyes and it soothes the pain and gets wow. the mouth faster. Yeah. Wow, that's that's fascinating. Um, yeah, so I hope this sheds some light for you skeptics that can't seem to shake the fact that vegetables are toxic and um, you want to try to go animal based if you can. Um, it's if, hard on doing generations of brainwashing. It is. It is. I mean, me personally, I do eat a little rice. I mean, I know it's not a vegetable, but I do eat some carbs as a female. Um, I'm not opposed to eating some fruit seasonal, pr preferably seasonal, seasonal, but um, I have eliminated all vegetables because I know it's toxic. It's not even bioavailable and it destroys your gut. It's, you know, it doesn't promote, it promotes gut dysbiosis. And it's going to rob you of minerals too. Robs you of minerals. Like so. oxalates do that. Oxalates are the worst that mm. messing up your mineral balance. So stay tuned for more information to educate you on the primal lifestyle and how vegetables are not just overrated they are garbage trash <laughs>